What is up creatives, this is Tom, welcome back to another video. In this one, what we're gonna be talking about is the iPhone SE 2. Hopefully you enjoyed that little sort of cinematic sequence. We're out here in the woods today. One of my new favorite isolation hobbies is mountain biking. I just got myself a mountain bike. I'm absolutely loving it. This is why I've probably got this helmet hair thing going on. But I basically took my iPhone SE 2 out today and basically wanted to shoot a cinematic sequence start to finish just this phone. A massive advantage of this iPhone SE 2 is that it shoots 4K at 60 frames a second but just how good is that video what sort of things can you get using uh, this camera you guys saw the sequence we're going to sort of go through it shot by shot and I'll go through some of the things I did to capture that sequence so let's get it all right, so I just parked my bike up. You can see my bike behind me here. And um, pretty much the first thing I want to talk about today in terms of the B-roll sequence is using foreground. You'll see in basically every single one of these shots that I'm going to go for to produce this video is using foreground a bit more creatively than just sort of, you know, two shots. So I'll give you two examples of shots here. One where I'm going to sort of brush up against some foreground uh, within these sort of trees and shrubs and the next I'll just do it flat and you can see for yourself the difference that that little uh, sort of difference in shot and depth will make to the overall shot. All right guys, so most of this video is completely and totally achievable handheld. I am actually using this sort of little tiny uh, iPhone gimbal for a couple of the shots in this video i mean i have it so i'm probably going to use it a bit more than i would need to um, but there's a couple of shots so i'm going to do the sort of running through the grass shot along one of these trails which i think will be quite a cool shot and i think you can certainly try it handheld but it's going to be quite a tough shot to pull off handheld and you'll see why as we actually try to take it All right, so I just got that, I think, and I think that's looking really, really cool. Some of the leaves are sort of like hitting, being hit out of the way by the iPhone and the gimbal. Like this little, um, this is a Firetech SPG2. Like really, really impressive to be able to actually uh, sort of withstand being hit by things as you're going, not just wind. So that's really cool. And uh, that shot's looking great. Oh, I forgot to mention that you're gonna get much, much greater and better depth of field if you decide to choose that sort of effect, like going super close and almost like brushing past objects as you move your phone and your device. Like it's a really, really good way to sort of up the cinematic nature of your video. Another couple of super quick tips. So uh, first of all is that I just did the shot where I was sort of filming myself. Let me get the iPhone out here. Um, so I was filming myself like this with the iPhone. Now, don't be tempted to use the front camera. That's a big tip if you are planning on sort of uh, almost like incorporating yourself in the clip like I just did for that super simple little clip, clip there where I just sort of just film myself just like this with my phone. So I opted to actually flip the phone so that I'm recording myself with the back camera and not the front facing camera because the back camera is significantly higher resolution, much better, um, You can, like I said, still shoot that 4k uh, 60 frames a second video that's just going to be look way way nicer than the front facing camera next tip is that we're going to basically just do a couple of creative angles with the cycling and also just sort of walking through the wood these woods here and uh, basically it's just to get really creative with your angles I'm going to put my phone directly like underneath my foot if you're walking along a path capture three angles one from each side and then one from below all of those things in the edit are going to help a lot There we go, the things we do for video production. Poor little iPhone SE2. All 
All right, so we're basically sort of about halfway, I think, through the sequence. I obviously got some sort of pickups with my bike as well. Now what I'm going to be focusing on is sort of detailing and details from, and when you're somewhere in somewhere like a forest like this, there's obviously an absolute ton of details to choose from, which is really, really cool. Um, but you basically want to get as many angles, as many sort of creative shots as you can, because those are all things that you can choose and use in the final edit. Another really big advantage of the iPhone SE, this amazing little camera, is that its macro potential is really, really good. Like you can get super close, get lots of detail captured on this little camera. Another quite simple, useful and effective tip is to when you're shooting, you can lock onto a subject on your iPhone by tapping and holding on that particular subject. That will focus on that subject, and if you hold on it, it will lock your focus and exposure. It means that the clip's not gonna be hunting throughout. Another really good way to make your videos feel a little bit more cinematic, give it a little bit of a, a nicer vibe is to sort of backlight things. So don't sort of shoot them just completely flat and neutral, but think about, so I just, for instance, spotted the light hitting this stump behind me. So what I did is shot that from the angle pointing into the sun, meaning you get the ray from the sun. Hopefully you get a bit of lens flare going on. Again, it's a way to just immediately sort of make your shot a little bit more dynamic and feel a little bit more cinematic than just sort of a flat even lit evenly lit shot there's obviously times you might want that but in a sequence like this basically using as much sort of uh, creative flair as possible is a good thing all right guys pretty close to being wrapped now on this video i'm going to go back to uh, mountain biking but um, there's a couple of little points i just want to talk about briefly so first of all is that you definitely don't need a little um, iphone gimbal to pull this off to pull a video uh, like this off far from it actually you know there's a few shots that it really helped out with but most of the stuff is totally achievable handheld especially with the stabilization now on the iPhone SE as good as it is and then the next point whilst you don't need an iPhone gimbal what I would recommend is that you buy like a little mini tripod I'm using mine right now on the uh, 90D there you go I'll give you a shot of what this looks like for me but I've got the gorilla pod on this little sort of stand um, excuse me I've got my Canon 90D on the gorilla pod stand you can just get a little iPhone attachment for this gorilla pod and you'll be able to sort of use that uh, attachment to connect to your iPhone so that it just gives you way more flexibility if you just have a little tiny tripod somehow you're able to instead of sort of propping your phone everywhere it will just open up a whole world in terms of possibilities of shots like I said not an absolute necessity but I do recommend this purchase I'll have a gorilla pod linked down below nice and cheap on Amazon uh, and it will just make a big difference I think I'm probably gonna wrap the video there though hopefully you have found it interesting and or useful if you have any questions questions about the cinematic sequence down below in the comments maybe how they edited it maybe that's another interesting video uh, that you guys might be interested in if you have any questions just drop them in the comments down below and i will get back to them as always and i will see you guys next time